got this fender off my parts car here. You see it requires uh, removing the lower splash pan section, the bumper section, and then there's some screws here in the door seal down here below, and then all the way across here. But bonus, I'm gonna go ahead and take this fender off and install it right now. So let's get started. First you start by lifting the vehicle up on the pinch weld here. I've got a strong enough impact so I don't need to bust the wheel studs loose before I lift it up. That noise that you're hearing is the, the, the pad shifting on the pinch weld. So when you're lifting it up on gravel, you really want to make sure that everything's right so it's centered and Preferably, the jack should roll up a little bit on you. This is a real compacted area of my gravel, but I just need to get it up enough to where the wheel comes off like that. Just put this to the side so it doesn't get broken. And now, take the wheel off. Let's uh, get as many of these as we can. See, this panel has already been taken out. We'll put that back in. This one right here has low clearance. So it's not necessary. This, uh, larger socket could fit in there with a, a tool just fine but it's a good example for one of these stubby sockets if need be you know you could I'm using a really tiny ratchet right now but for example whenever you're putting a bigger tool in there you need the clearance and these are uh, high torque bolts that Now, uh, that should be all the ones on the top. It's, it's broken free there. Now let's move down into the side here. Inside here, there's a, uh, a cover. So there's T25 screws in here, two of them, I believe. So first one. Felt like it just pushed. I don't think someone put them back in. This has been off before, and someone didn't put those screws back in. Yeah, see, it's just the uh, it's just the keepers. There's one more up there. It's, uh, so they put they put push pins in there instead of the screws that were installed. So it's always an adventure when someone's been there before you and puts in different stuff. So it popped out, but those. I, mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe the factory halfway through used a different keeper, but all right. Anyway, I got it out now. This is what I was talking about. I'm not familiar with those, but someone put those in or maybe the factory did. I'm just not familiar with them, but really I'm just trying to get to these 
T30s in here. Right there. We got that one right there. Now there's still one at the top. Um, I'm gonna get these two bottom ones though. See, that's uh, not fitting very well. So in this case, I get my longer quarter drive and even the stubby socket to give me the most control. But it was already broken loose. I broke it loose with the small one. one more deep in here. I could get it from the other side as well. Let me see if it's much easier from this side. It's not at all easier from the other side. I've never tried that before, but just to verify. So I'm gonna try. So there's also probably a little bit of dirt or something. Since this didn't have a fender liner in here, um, there's probably a little bit of dirt in these fasteners and that makes it easier for it to strip out. So. That's why these things pay for themselves. Now, uh, there's one more up here. I'm going to keep it in there until I get this stuff apart. So if you could come around to this side. Um, now there's a, this, this part of the fender well is already gone. I'm going to take apart this part here. So we'll, there's supposed to be a uh, mount here. I've got that from the other car. Let's see here. There's one screw left over here. This one, we'll see how much of the uh, splash pan is not installed on this car. So we've got the rest of these clips to take out. Bend the uh, fat ends down, and then we should push out. take the fender well all the way out I just we're replacing the fender though someone had already put Bondo on this fender so it wasn't legit to begin with anyway uh, I've got a new one of these rods as well that's one of the benefits of having a parts car so let's just Supposed to be a 10 millimeter here that's gone. Two more T30s on the frame. 
there's always a just one 10 millimeter in here someone swapped it with a t30 mm -hmm. so uh back to the t30 right there Now I'm gonna take this last bolt. If you, if you could hold the yeah, camera that way. This last bolt here, come around this side. Okay. Now you just wanna be careful of the rest of the paint and everything, so. Everything should be broken loose though. There's uh, just a little bit of factory putty from installation. And this last wire is gonna hang us up. Time to install the new one. All right, now we got the replacement fender here. So again, we're gonna be careful with this door. I'm just gonna try to... get a few of these top bolts set in place. And then same with these. It should be extremely similar to the other car. So you can see where the bolt used to sit. Usually you're in perfect shape whenever you just put the bolt right back where it was. but I'm not even gonna screw them in until I get some of this other stuff started. Like, I'll start these bottom two here. So hopefully these are tight enough fit to where they stay on. And th this is not necessarily advised for most people, but I'm just gonna gently, delicately See, the, the thing is, I need to align the fender and then get these started. So I'm not going to bolt them all the way in yet either. I'm just going to get that one started. That's the rule of thumb with this kind of stuff. You get everything started, and then, then you tighten stuff down. So this one's probably going to be a little bit of a problem for me. So I have just a leaf right here. So maybe that's just enough to jam in there to sometimes that keeps your bit in. Nope. Need to get something fresh.
See, I don't like how that was starting to... That's the problem with doing this. It can be... It might have been going in straight, but it's hard to tell because there's dirt and grime down in there. See if this fits. I was talking about that earlier. With see, it's, I guess it still fits, but you really want to you really want to make sure you're not crooked in situations like that. This one had Coney shocks put in it. Pretty nice. Now that that's seated, I'm gonna snug these back up. Tuck my wire back in. All right, there's the uh, bolt. in through the uh, fender through the bumper right here it used to be uh, three on some of the older cars then it was two on some of the older cars now they just went to one so that's nice it's still a little bit of a hassle to get inside the inner fender it's a lot easier with the uh, fender well um, completely out like we have it right now but especially for visibility Screw this uh, panel back in. 
Got it going? Yep. All right, let's see if these bigger screws fit. Right. Had to get some big fat screws to go in those. in. Now we can put the fender liner in. So the first thing I like to do is just hang it up on these back two studs. Even though these nuts will be coming back off. There's uh, some other studs you can hang it on up here. And just start tucking it in. start putting my clips in. Bend these tabs back down a little bit. It's easier to uh, bend them before you put them on and they have some pretension back on them. It's always good to spin them a little bit as well. Here's going to be a little bit tricky. I think I'm going to have to get a little bit of help with some pliers. We have a similar situation over here. This uh, back piece will hold it the most substantially in. Could you uh, show the hot rods real quick? Oh, wow. Uh, neighbors are hot riders. All right, I just gotta bolt these, finish bolting these things back in, and uh, just toss the uh, 10 millimeter on here. You know. And then lastly, there's just uh, the bumper you have to put in with this T25 here, and then 
this T25 up here. Whenever you put these T25s in, uh, I didn't even put that in all the way with my ratchet tool. What I was about to say is you want to be very careful with your electric tools. See, I'm not the first person that's worked on this thing, but um, it's anytime you're screwing into plastic, you always really want to use a hand tool. That way you can feel it tighten up because as you can imagine, screwing into plastic can uh, strip out way easier than any other material. So and now let's bolt the wheel on. So here it is with the fender on, but I'm looking at this gap with, see, I'm no body guy, but I'm looking at this gap between the hood and the fender. And then you just want to compare it to this side over here. And uh, there will be a gap, but you can uh, work with the fender just a little bit. I'm gonna just, just push the whole thing in just a tad to see if it closes up that gap a little bit. And those gaps are just a little bit better. Let's take a look at the other side.